<coughs> the air is thick with spores. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna survive. There's something around here. <coughs> something terrifying. <coughs> uh, I need help, but uh, I can barely move. My lungs, my lungs feel so heavy. Hello. I have an idea. Boo! <coughs> something dark in the forest, come. Turn and flee, you need to run. The air itself will be your death. This is Valazar, but not as you know. Valazark. He's still really slow. Hello, my fellow hunters. Are you enjoying Iceborne? Don't answer that. You are. So, today then, what I would love to talk to you about is uh, Mr. Valhazark, and not just any Valhazark, no, Black Veil Valhazark. Oh, and just a little bit of a assurance for all of you that plan on following our pro and noob journey through Iceborne, the entire thing is already done, recorded, our first reactions preserved and beautiful, so don't worry about this interfering with any of that, it's all taken care of. A uh, variant of, well, <laughs> yeah, no, he is, <sighs> he's a fun guy. <laughs> so, on a base level then, this is Valhazak, but what if he's also infected with fungus and spreads effluvium-like spory growths? around everywhere in the ancient forest. It is just genius and I adore it. It's almost like the Val isn't really even intending this to happen. It's almost like a Val in the forest just has this transformation. The natural flora interact with his biology in this abhorrent way. Is it symbiosis or is Val on a ticking climber? Is <laughs> On a ticking climber. <laughs> I found the source of the ticking. It's a climber. Ticking timer. I would imagine it is the former. He gains the added effects of deadly spores, and well, they get a nice place to call home. And oh, what they let him do. For a start, he gets. Super effluvium, like it is to the point where your health bar ends up absolutely minuscule. Like even less than normal, you have been effluviumed. It's absolutely you, you just you just have nothing left. But that's just the start. He essentially now has an active defense system around his body. Your little little like buffy fluffy sacks of spores for want of a better description and occasionally they will vent hmm venting spores and if you're near when that happens well you will be blown away and probably dosed and effluviumed real good and by the way in case it's not already readily apparent Bring effluvium immunity to this fight! Good lord! The range at which he can suction you is crazy. The amount of times I have been miles away across the zone and my health has just won and I have hit the ground is uncanny. You need to be managing your health in this fight or you are going to absolutely have a hellish time. Normal Valhazark just is nothing compared to this version. There is so much room for new moves, it's just ridiculous. He has a brand new signature and this is the most impressive thing. It's so much better than OG Val just playing dead. Yes, God, that was anticlimactic. He will go into the air after curling into a ball of flesh and then spread out and dose the entire zone in white misty death. A spory 
bacteria effluvium apocalypse localized right around you. And if you run through these patches on the ground, this white coating, you will absolutely tank. You will get the debuff and you will melt and it will hurt and it really sucks and god damn it, you have to watch your footing so carefully. He makes everywhere around you such a hazard. Oh my word. Now you can break his little uh, sparry puff ball body defenders off and that makes him less effective and obviously removes that from ever troubling you again which is really quite nice and they're not too difficult to cleave off and then on top of this whole sort of super enhanced effluvium shenaniganry his whole moveset is so much better he's significantly faster his melee attacks a lot more flaily and they come out quicker his reaction time much better but the beam is where it's at he has so many variations now he can do slow puffs of cloud that are kind of akin to Joe's sweep. He can really mix it up. He can start from both the left or the right. Oh my god! So you really can't just be like, oh, he's beaming. Everyone go this way because he might choose that way to start. And on top of that, he has a beam where he stands on his hind legs. It just goes absolutely mental, aiming, firing every which way all of the time. It just, it takes a lot of new pattern learning. He really, really does. And that is just such a treat. This is what Val always should have been because this is truly a terrifyingly deathly elder dragon that you you just don't want to get near. It's like, oh, how do you make the Elder Dragon that controls flesh-eating bacteria even worse? Um, let's also give him deadly spores mixed in with the flesh-eating bacteria. You madman, it might just work. This is genuinely just out the lab of an evil genius, and I cannot sing its praises enough. Seriously, I try, and it just doesn't work. Like, I I'll show you. I'll I will I will prove it to you. It's prayer. Ah, I, 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 it's a condition. That was so bad. I feel like I've dug my hole there, and you know what? I am not going to edit that out. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to commit to what I just did so that you can see that I am just so deeply talentless. All right, so that's the fight in a nutshell. I don't want to get too nitty-gritty. I don't want to ruin, well, everything, though if you've chosen to watch this, I feel like you don't really care about that to begin with. But the point is, he is better in every single way, and there is not a single thing that I miss about old Val. He is just more intense, more fun, more flavorful. Don't eat him. And all in all, just a glorious encounter worthy of for endgame ice board. His equipment then, on the other hand, it's a mixed bag. Visually, it is stunning. It has some incredible detail to it. It is one magically unique look. And if you ever need to get married, well, Valhazak's got you covered if you don't mind a slightly darker theme, but it definitely does the job. Skills-wise, ah, it's your typical Val Fair with your peak performance, your recovery type stuff, and your effluvial resistance, and it's, well, it is a stand-in for normal Val, because he's not there in armor in master rank, so you kind of just have to use this instead. The set bonus is the same, allows your recovery to go, so it's not the most exciting skills to work with, nothing really screams, this will be the cornerstone of a build, but occasionally a few pieces might sneak in, like with speed eating and a Tigrex wide range set, perhaps. But we'll have to see how it develops. But it's still nice to have the variety. Weapon-wise, Don Monstro. Respectable damage, a lot of dragon. Two two slots is good, and it's a lot of white sharpness, no purple. But ultimately, well, it says it right there. It's... It's average. It looks nice, and I love the red glowing symbols across it but they're not the most impressive weapons, at least for people like me who like the roar and the big hits. It's probably going to be exceptional for the jewel blades and the bows as their dragon option, but generally, they're not the most exciting weapons in the world, but that's okay because he himself 
is the most exciting in the world. So there you go, guys. That is a little bit of a look, a little bit of an introduction. I say hi and shake hands, but then wash them deeply afterwards with Black Veil Valhazak. An absolutely stunning creation and something that is going to be a joy to farm and probably absolutely hell when it starts getting tempered and the like. But still, I am very happy it is here. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, hit the bell, and I will see you soon. A good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.